Hey guys, Sonny Carter here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you two signs that your marriage is in serious trouble. Now, before I get to that, I'm going to share with you a personal story about my marriage. So back about six or seven years ago, when I was about two or three years into my marriage, um, we were doing okay. We had our occasional arguments here and there, but um, I want to share with you how we were able to turn our marriage around from a marriage that was um, suffering, where we kind of uh, eventually felt like we were roommates. Um, there was like no love connection there, no spark. Um, it was like we were just friends living with each other to a marriage that completely turned around um, where we had this deep, passionate love connection for each other. So back to my story. So um, we had these occasional arguments, but we started to notice something very interesting about our marriage. We started notice, noticing that we would have these repeated cycles of behaving, these, these repeated negative habitual patterns of thinking and feeling. And we wasn't sure where it was coming from. Um, and at times we kind of felt stuck in our marriage because, um, you know, I would cope a certain way when things happened. I would get triggered and I would, you know, sometimes withdraw. Um, and I didn't understand why. Sometimes I would get uh, triggered and, and, and uh, insecurity and mistrust would come up and I didn't know why. Um, sometimes um, I would feel, you know, my wife would say something or do something that would make me feel abandoned. And that would trigger me to cope a certain way. And so we had these different um, patterns of behaving and thinking and feeling that were negative And we couldn't understand why we were behaving that way. Um, some behaviors we knew were happening that were negative, And we felt powerless and stuck because we felt, we felt like it just kept happening. And there was other behaviors and, and negative ways of thinking and feeling, these patterns that we were not aware was hap that was happening in our marriage. I was causing uh, negative issues to occur in our marriage. And it wasn't until we uh, got to the root source of why we behaved the way we did is when we started to have breakthroughs. So that's the first sign of a failing marriage. A first sign of a marriage that's suffering is when there's continuous, repeated, uh, negative, habitual patterns of thinking, behaving, and feeling that causes damages um, in a marriage that causes repeated arguments, um, that causes um, um, constant uh, pain and, and, and hurt in each other, um, constant fighting, um, that cause your love connection to get severed and cause your oneness to kind of get slowly separated over time. And then you wind up eventually feeling like um, roommates rather than lovers, like we did um, at some point in our marriage. and. And so if that's the case, what you got to do is now stopping annoying behavior can have some benefit, of course, but eventually you're only going to get so far. You have to get to the root source of why, where these negative cycles of behaving is coming from, um, where this negative, for example, cycle of insecurity or mistrust is coming from. And you also have to uncover uh, habitual negative ways of, of behaving and thinking that you don't know exist in your marriage that's hurting your marriage, that's causing you to behave and cope a certain way. For example, um, every time um, I got hurt or I felt something, um, first I needed to know why I was hurt, what was the message that my mind was telling me that was causing me to get hurt, and secondly, why would I cope, why was I coping the way I was coping? In other words, every time I got hurt, I would I would withdraw and I was I would get silent and I wouldn't open up to my wife. I would I would just internalize what I was feeling. And this had a repeated effect in my marriage. So it wasn't until I got to the root cause of why I was behaving, uh, I had to go back and understand my past and my experiences from my past and why it caused me to do the things that I was doing to be able to uncover new negative patterns of behavior. So I can be able to, to, to understand myself better and cause true change in the moment when something happened so I can understand why it's happening in me and be able to effectively communicate that to my wife. Um, and so that's step number one is if a family marriage is going to start by having these negative cycles. And if you want to solve that, um, you have to understand specifically what's causing it. Um, now we're in the process of creating a really cool project that I'm super excited about. We think it's going to help so, so many people, but there's a project that's going to help people identify, um, 18 specific, um, negative thought patterns that come from people's past 
what the th what the messages of those thought patterns are, how it runs people's life, how it causes them to cope a certain way, um, behave a certain way, how to feel a certain way, and it's gonna allow people to understand themselves at a much deeper level, where they can understand um, and uncover negative uh, behaviors in their marriage, and as a result, being able to break those behaviors and communicate them, become become more vulnerable about your weaknesses because you understand yourself better and have amazing breakthroughs in your marriage. So um, if you want updates on when that program and training is gonna come out, subscribe to this video, um, click the alert button, alert button, and you'll be able to get notified um, when we come out with this project. And it'd be really cool and very impactful. So the second sign that um, your marriage is in serious trouble is um, if, if you guys are not, um, if you guys don't have an emotional connection with each other. What I mean by that is if you guys are too wrapped up into the ebbs and flow of life, right? The kids, um, you know, business and work and all this stuff that's happening where you guys are not spending quality time with each other. You're not sitting down um, every day for at least one hour and just connecting with each other's inner world. You kind of kind of lost touch of that. You see, in the beginning of, of, of your relationship and my relationship, you know, when we were dating, it was so easy, right? We would call our wives, we would think about them or husbands and think about them all the time. We would dream about them and be like, oh, I can't wait till they call me. I remember I would be at work and I would just be daydreaming about my wife and be like, oh, man, I can't wait to see her after work. And at that time we were just going out and dating, but I constantly thought about her. It was like, you know, that, that drug of dopamine and all these love chemicals in our minds and our brains um, was getting getting us to really just have these deep, passionate emotions for each other. But then somewhere along the line, that infatuation stage is going to dissipate, okay? Um, it may last for two years, if you're lucky, maybe three, but it's always, the infatuation phase is always going to end. So what's after that, right? So you hit this crossroad, right? The infatuation stage finished. Now what? There's only two places you can go. One, you can go to what's called a mutual affection stage where you're kind of feeling more like roommates rather than lovers, okay? And that happens slowly over time um, where you guys stop spending quality time with each other. You guys stop um, connecting with each other at an emotional level. Um, the romanticism in the marriage goes down um, the business of life gets in the way and the relationship takes a back seat. The second road you can go to is love connection. And that's kind of like um, a fire that's slowly burning um, where you're constantly um, keeping, well, here's the thing, right? If the love connection is, is where you kind of feel, you don't feel like roommates, but you feel like lovers and you have that deep, passionate love for each other okay it's not the infatuation phase because that's that's only temp that's you know that's only in the beginning um that's kind of like a wildfire that's just going crazy and and the fire is out of control right we make dumb decisions sometimes um uh in the infatuation phase um but in the love connection phase it's like a steady flame of a fireplace that's creating a, a peaceful warm um um atmosphere in the house now here's the catch in order to get this love connection what does a fireplace need to have? You need to put wood in the fireplace. You need to make sure it has enough oxygen. In other words, you have to put effort to keep that love connection going. And all because you have to put effort doesn't mean that you're not in love. That's the biggest mistake we hear in people who are married. They feel like, oh, um, if I got to put effort to my marriage and it doesn't come effortlessly, then I'm just not in love anymore. It wasn't meant to be. No, that is wrong. You stay in love by putting constant efforts into your marriage, by constantly putting wood in that fire and keeping that flame going. That means that you're putting conscious effort on how you can make a good thing better and then act on that, right? How can you get more creative with your dates? Um, how could you um, become more of a romantic um, husband, right? How could you become a better listener, a better considerate listener, right, for the men? How could you listen to your wives better? Um, and so uh, different things you can do to put wood in that fire to keep those flames burning in your marriage, okay? So again, just to recap, two signs that your marriage is failing. One is you have repeated negative patterns of behaving, 
thinking and feeling that's causing you to have repeated arguments and cycle that's causing you to hurt one another on a continuous basis that's causing you to have um, phases where your marriage is going good and then again it goes down and then then it goes good and you're having thoughts of is this gonna work is this marriage you know um, gonna last um, you know there's times where you you know freaking love each other and then there's other times where you're just like oh my gosh like I don't know if I want to be in this marriage if you're having these ebb and flows that's a sign that your marriage is not doing well okay um, and if you have that again if you have these negative repeated cycles of behaving of thinking of coping then the solution to that is you have to get a better understanding of your past you have to know why you behave the way you do have a better understanding and awareness of yourself so you can understand what these negative thought patterns uh, are saying to yourself in the back of your mind subconsciously um, that's causing you to behave in, in a certain way and again the way to do that is to understand exactly um, what what caused it what from your past caused these negative messages in the back of your mind we call them life entanglements um, dr. Jeffrey Young likes to call them life traps okay um, and so um, I recommend you you do that but again the program and training that we have coming out is gonna help people to identify that specifically um, and help you to uncover that more and the second thing is a sign of a failing marriage is if you guys are drifting apart that you guys are not um, feeling more like roommates and um, more like um, uh, friends right rather than um, lovers rather than people with a deep passionate um, connection for each other and that can be solved easily by spend, number one spending quality time with each other every day at least for one hour um, I would say five days a week Monday to Friday if you can spend one hour together not talking about the kids not talking about business not talking about finances talking about each other a really good app that you can use it's called the Gottman cards It's from the Gottman Institute um, I think John John Gottman Gar, uh, yeah John Gottman I think his name is but he has a uh, an app I know it's definitely on the iPhone where he has specific questions you can ask each other to help draw out um, each other more and understand each other at a deeper level um, but it doesn't always have to be asking questions it could be giving each other massages it could be sharing um, your dreams and sharing more about your past and just connecting more making it a priority to, to sit down for one hour and just connect about each other's inner world that would do that would make a big difference for you to get out of that mutual affection phase get back to the love connection phase um, and again um, things that didn't really turn around into our marriage until we do did those two things okay we have to understand why we were getting stuck why we were having these negative behavior these negative um, cycles of behaving uh, feeling and 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 just coping we have to understand our past what specific uh, life entanglement that we had uh, the negative message in the back of our minds that was causing us to behave a certain way and then we had to just increase our awareness of, of ourselves and, and who we are and and what caused us to behave a certain way all right so guys I hope you got some uh, really cool nuggets from this video hope they help somewhat um, if you are feeling like you don't have hope in your marriage let me tell you there is hope there is hope I've seen the worst of marriages turn around um, just because they implemented these few strategies that we talked about and uh, don't give up um, I've seen marriages down on the brink of divorce that just turned around and wind up becoming amazing um, just amazing marriages okay there's so much to gain from having a healthy marriage and there's so much to lose by giving up on your marriage so don't give up have hope and uh, you get there all right so leave me a comment um, let me know any questions you have if anything I, I can um, love to hear your thoughts on this video as well if it was helpful or not again feel free to subscribe if you want to check out more videos like this um, hit the alert button if you want to get notified um, we constantly put out really cool videos like this to really help the world and uh, and change the world one marriage at a time all right so guys thanks for watching appreciate your time and I will see you later. Peace out.